This video will be very helpful for those who live in South Korea and they're looking for an um, ideal fishing spot for sport game fishing or shore jigging. So um, today I'm going to show you where you can go for um, fishing using this Google Earth map. Um, as you can see, South Korea is quite a small country. From Seoul to Busan, it takes like only five hours. The longest hours you can drive from one end to the other end of South Korea is like seven hours or something. So um, basically, if you have a car, you can go anywhere you want in just one day. Um, as you can see, South Korea has three seas, three signs. So one in the west is called Yellow Sea. Um, we call Sohae which means West Sea and one in the south is called South Sea or Namhae in Korean words and lastly uh, the one in the east is called East Sea or Donghae in Korean word so where should you go for bigger fish? if you're living in Seoul you may want to look for the spots uh, near from Seoul but unfortunately, I have to say that uh, there are not much favorable spots uh, near Seoul or near Gyeonggi-do or somewhere. Uh, in the places near from Seoul, you know, everywhere, you can catch small fish like a rockfish or some kind of a mackerel or something, you can catch everywhere. The entire places in the West Sea is not really favorable for shore jigging or big game fishing. Um, let me tell you some of the well-known or popular fishing spots in the West Sea but um, that you cannot catch many different species of fish but uh, in the autumn um, you can expect to catch Spanish mackerel 40 centimeters over 40 centimeters or 50 centimeters and if you are lucky enough you can catch like 60 centimeters but um, that's just it no other types of fish like yellowtail tuna you cannot expect that even if you go to the uh, islands like this but um, for example if you travel very far like here and here yeah probably you can catch like sn red snapper or yellow tail but um, the, this shores you know in this at these shores you cannot catch much so this um, the sea wall is called Shiwa sea wall so it's really popular for um, autumn shore jigging targeting uh, Spanish mackerel and here and also there's a one long seawall here I think it's one of the popular um, seawall in South Korea Semangum. it's uh, near from Gunsan But if you're happy with lure fishing and flat fishing, um, two places in Sohae are quite good place for such fishing, Taeyan and Gunsan. The shoreline looks quite like this in Taeyan and Gunsan, so uh, it provides quite a good environment for uh, flat fish. So I forget about the West Sea if you're looking for um, bigger and more variety of fish. At least you have to come down to south or you have to go to the east. So let's say you are departing from Seoul. So maybe um, East Sea seems to be more favorable for you because it's not that far from you. And uh, there are uh, several highways to reach the East Sea. When you enjoy shore jigging, um, it's um, the target fishes are like yellowtail, kingfish, sometimes some sorts of tuna, um, and Spanish mackerel as well. So, if you're looking for catching those fish, you need to go to at least Gangneung. So do not go up there, Sokcho Gosang. Um, uh, there are more chances if you go down here. So if you go down 
and the water temperature is higher than the cities in the north, the places in the north. So if you can come down to south as as down as possible. So um, the minimum minimum spots you can go up is like Gangneung. So you should go to Gangneung for short jigging and uh, the um, the spot I recommend for you is um, here. It's called Gangneunghang or Gangneung Harbor. It's, as you can see, it's uh, it has a really big um, seawall or jetty. I don't know how you, how we call. So um, if you go there, and you'll find uh, many people standing on this jetty and fishing. So this is a good place for shore jigging. You can catch jackfish, yellowtail. Uh, Spanish mackerel and uh, dog tooth tuna, yeah, those fishes and mackerels everywhere actually. So also, okay, Gangneung is a good place. And uh, you can go anywhere here, but you do you have to remember that the the, the farther the sea will go out to the sea, the more chances for you to catch. So I recommend this Gangneung Hang. So we're coming port and uh, the other places I recommend for you okay past these two cities because um there are not many places here you can go not many seawalls actually um I want to suggest you to visit Uljin Uljin uh it has a really nice seawall too this place is called Chukbyan so Chukbyan in Uljin Chukbyan is the uh uh, town name here so go there and you can see this long big seawall so yeah this is good place for shore jigging If you visit here, you might find people fishing all the way through this seawall. So outside, outside the seawall, not inside. You can't you can't catch much big fish inside of this seawall. The species you can catch are almost the same as um, Gangneung, like dog tooth tuna, Spanish mackerel. Um, jackfish, yellowtail sometimes, dog tooth tuna, you know, like that. So, not much difference from Gangneung. Okay, so uh, I mentioned two places. One was Gangneung, the other one is Uljin. So, what are pla other places? You can choose to go anywhere places on the East Sea. So, um, you sometimes, you know, you're lucky enough, you can see uh, boiling, then you can cast there, you can catch some. Uh, you can enjoy shore jigging everywhere on the east sea but um, remember that you cannot really catch big one the maximum size you can catch is like 50 or 60 but 60 is really rare size 40 50 is kind of normal okay so what about you are really into shore jigging and uh, you expect more than that you expect the bigger fish you expect more fish you know like that then um, you have to come down south Okay, actually I excluded two places in South Korea, Jeju and Ulleung. You know, these are really uh, hot spots too, but it's too far, isn't it? So you have to travel too too much. Like you have to take ferry or you have to take airplane to get there. You cannot really enjoy fishing like one or two days. Maybe you have to stay there several days and it costs a lot. So you don't want that. So uh, I recommend you to come down Busan and the surrounding areas. Busan or Gajedo, right? Um, actually exclude any places after Gajedo because, um, you know, shore jigging and boat fishing is not really um, active in other places in the South Sea. Namhe, Yeosu and, you know, all these places um quite um, undiscovered also um, very different condition from um, Gaje and Busan. 
There is a warm current called Kuroshio. It comes all the way down from Taiwan, and uh, some part of it comes to South Korea, and it goes directly through Gaoze and Busan. That's why sea temperature in Gaoze and Busan are higher than any other places in South Korea. And also this warm sea temperature invites more fish and bigger fish. So when you want to enjoy shore jigging, um, come down Gaoze or Busan. Okay, so first let's talk about Busan. It's a big city, you know. Um, you might wonder uh, where you can catch fish because uh, it has like a really long beach like Haeonde or something, um, tourism place. So is there any good place for fishing? Yes, there is. Okay, so I'll tell you through the map. This is a uh, Gwangan Bridge. Then let's zoom in and look for the places where you can fish. You must be able to see this apart high rise apartment building complex. It's called Orukdo. This is not Orukdo, but these are the Orukdo. So, five or six islands. Orukdo means five or six islands. As you can see, um, there are like six islands, but um, when it's low tide, so one island is connected with the other, so it becomes like five. So it's five, six island, Orukdo in South Korea, in Korean word. Um, you can catch boat here, so you pay like only um, man one or less than 10 um, US dollars. So it can drop you off one of those islands. So it's really good spot for shore jigging. And also, they can drop you off like this uh, straight seawall. You know, it's a really good spots here too. These two spots, right? So, Orukdo and um, the seawall is a good place for shore jigging. Um, excluding um, middle of winter time, January, February. So you can go there and catch fish all around the year. Now let's move on to a different fishing spot in Busan. Let's go to the west. So if you keep going to the west, you will find uh, the strip of water. It's called Nakdonggang. The region I'm going to focus on is right here. This place is called Tadepo because uh, there is Tadepo Beach. So that's why people call this place Tadepo. There are lots of apartment complex here and right in front of that as you can see it's like carved beach is right here and there are some old five or six old fishing shops standing in a row And those are the shops that will take you to a remote island for fishing. The departing place of the boat is somewhere around here. <laughs> the cost of transport is um, from like 20 to 45 dollars or something depending on the uh, the final destination you go to if i zoom out the map you'll see uh, lots of uh, small islets islands and islets here floating uh, in the middle of the sea so some of them are uh, near to the shore and then some of them are offshore so if i keep zooming out you see uh, some of the uh, islands scattered around the most distant island is called Wesam, and it will cost you around forty dollars to get there. Among all the places in Busan, the island called Wesam right here is the most popular one because um, um, that really has um, more population of fish and more chances of catching bigger fish all around the year. Crucial warm currents um, directly influences this island, so the, that current passes right very closely through this island so the sea condition of this island is um, uniquely different from the that of the others so um, if you want a big fish if you want to have some great fun um, I, I recommend you to try this island okay so um, 
that's pretty much all for um, fishing spots in Busan. The next spot I want to focus on is called Koje Island or Koje Do in Korean word. It used to be an island before it was connected by two bridges, but it's no longer an island, but still people call it Koje Island or Koje Do. Um, there are two ways you can come to Koje. Uh, one way is from coming from Busan. As you can see, um, and it looks like uh, there's no more bridge over here connecting with the Busan, but actually the road goes under the water. So underwater tunnel is connecting with the Busan. So this is one way, or you can come from Seoul or Daejeon or somewhere, or cities in the west. You might uh, come through this bridge. You pass through Jinju and Tongyang, and then you finally get to cross this bridge. It's called Gaoje Bridge. So there are two ways to come to Gaoje. So I'm going to introduce to you um, some hot fishing spots inshore of Gaoje and then um, offshore of Gaoje. So two categories. The first fishing spot I want to introduce to you is called Jisepo Seawall. So you might see very long seawall right here. It's a pretty pretty popular fishing spot, even for Korean people. So you'll find this place is kind of uh, always crowded with the people. So sometimes it might be difficult to uh, find a uh, wide enough space for you to fish. So there might be people around you too. But this is um easy place for you to go. You park right here, and then you walk all the way to the end of this seawall, there's a small lighthouse and this is where you can catch a fish like yellow tail, Spanish mackerel or sometimes jackfish okay and then um, that was called Chisepo seawall the next spot that I want to introduce to you is called Seoimar. So it's not, not really far from um, Jisepo Seawall. It will take only 10 minutes to get here. You can drive all the way to the end of um, this cape. Okay, you can park at the end of the road and you can come down to this um, rock shore. Or you can um, take a boat and pay like 20,000 won, Korean won, and then they will um, drop you off uh, any of the places you want to get off um, alongside this um, rock shore. And this is uh, also quite a good uh, fishing spot, um, deep and strong currents, and um, all types of fish too. It's called Seoimar, so this is the name of the region. So, uh, the, my next recommendation is a region called Hegumgang. So, this is Hegumgang area. Um, actually, um, it was the place where I caught 65 centimeters um, yellowtail too, um, which I broke my fishing rod in the course of um, pulling up to the shore because I forgot my landing net. Um, Okay, so uh, all these areas are quite good. Uh, there are a few places where you can uh, walk to, but the most of the places are inaccessible because uh, quite rough and rocky um, shoreline conditions. So as you can see in the map, uh, it looks like that. You have to pay like 20,000 Korean won, and then you can get off uh, anywhere you want to uh, for shore jigging. So this place, Hegumgang, uh, also has pretty strong um, sea current and uh, deep water depth. So this is also a good place. Um, my last recommendation for um, fishing spots in shore of Gaja Island is right here. Um, local people call this area Yacha. 
So um, you might see uh, some of the islands, small islands, floating um, on this um, part of the sea. Um, it has really strong current. I think um, this part of uh, college has strongest uh, water current. Sometimes um, 100 grams of um, metal zig is not uh, enough to handle this uh, current. And also quite deep. Some of the uh, uh, places like 40, um, 40 meters deep. So really, really deep. And there are uh, some big fish here too. The way to get there, get those islands, are like through um, fishing boats. So there are many fishing boat shops around these areas, like five, six. So um, any of them would take you to uh, one of these islands. Okay, so that was um fishing spot uh, in show of um, Kaje. There are some offshore spots too. So you might find um, there are several more islands offshore of Kaje. Let me give you a bit more detailed information about these islands. I've been some of these islands, even if uh, I've never been to all of them. So the first one is Memurto, right here. Um, Memurto is made up of two islands, a big and small one. And as you can see, The terrain is quite stiff and rocky and uh, the water depth is quite deep and the current is quite strong too and this is a really favorable condition for big fish too. It costs you around 35,000 Korean won and it takes around 30 minutes to get here. It was Memurto and the uh, next one is here this one is called Kukto this is um quite popular fishing spot for enthusiastic Korean English too um, it will take around one hour and cost you 50,000 Korean won this is worthwhile fishing spot too Okay, and uh, another one. There is um. Okay, um, there's another island right next to Kukdo. It's called Chasarito. Um, since um, it is located near near from uh, Kukdo, so sea condition and uh, um, over environments is not that much different from that of Kukdo. So. I don't have much to talk about, but uh, you can choose either one of them. You can go to Kukdo or you can go to Jasarido because they are quite similar. Okay, but, but I've never been there. Um, another one that I want to recommend to you is Yokjido. This one is a um, pretty interesting uh, island. This is actually quite big island, as you can see. And uh, you can see that it's inhabited island. Uh, this island has like uh, 2,000 um, population, so it's pretty big for um, kind of faraway island, remote island. It has um, a necessary infrastructure for you to stay there for several days. Uh, this island has bank, hotel, supermarket, many restaurants, and uh, fishing tackle shop. So. You can get everything you need if you go there. The ferries come to this island four or five times a day. You can even bring your car. If you like to enjoy fishing and the sightseeing, these islands can uh, offer you several options. 
Um, last autumn, I traveled to this island and I had a great fun with the fishing and the sightseeing as well. I stayed there for three days. So um, if you have enough time and if you, you know, enjoy a bit of this and a bit of that, uh, I personally recommend you uh, this island, Yokjido. So far, I have introduced the uh, um, major fishing spots in South Korea to you. And um, I know it's uh, not easy for you to uh, go there and find the exact fishing spot because um, um, one thing, one reason is that um, you cannot uh, have access to this place um, unless you have your own car. Second, even if you have your own car, um, knowing the exact spot like the uh, detailed address um, is something that you need to know in order to find. So you might need more information, but I hope that um, general information I provided for you um, at least gave you a big picture and an idea of uh, you know, where to go and uh, what you can catch. Um, for shore jigging or sport game fishing. If you have more uh, questions and if you want to know more about detail, please con contact me uh, personally through email or through Kakao Messenger or something. Um, in case um, you want to join me for fishing, of course you can join me, so you need to contact me in advance so we can make a plan together so we can go, I can accompany you for shore jigging. Thank you for watching this video and I see you in the next video. Thanks.